Hello everyone, my name is Noriel and I welcome you to my channel, the I am a super user. And today I have a short video for you, a quick demonstration of my Ubuntu desktop. So I asked a question in my Facebook page, the PC Enthusiast Philippines, and I asked, uh, what do you usually do uh, on your computer as a non-heavy gamer? And we have uh, some answers here. So uh, let's take a look. So the first is uh, web browsing, social media, forums, and uh, research. So I'll show you guys that here in my Ubuntu desktop, I also have a browser. Yeah, uh, I have the uh, Chromium browser here. Uh, this is the uh, Google Chrome version. Uh, and if you, if Windows have the Google Chrome, we have the Chromium here. So as you can see, we can do research. We can do Google search, we can watch YouTube, and of course, uh, we can uh, go to your favorite uh, forums. And yeah, so basically uh, what you can do with your uh, browser, you can do also here. And for the social media, I have here the PC Enthusiast Philippines, and I'm inviting you also guys to join us if you like. Okay, so... There you go. As you can see that uh, I can do everything that uh, usually we usually do in, with our Windows uh, desktop. And before I forget, uh, I have also Firefox web browser here. So uh, it is not exclusive for Windows users only. So I also have it here in my Ubuntu desktop. And of course, as a web browser, it functions as a browser. Yeah, I can use, uh, also do YouTube, uh, do the research and everything. The next is the Steam, or uh, if you play uh, Dota 2, I also have it here with uh, my Ubuntu. I installed Steam and I have my Dota 2 account here, as you can see. And yeah, this is my account. I have some items here. Uh, let's uh, check my favorite hero. Uh, it's uh, Zeus. Yeah, and my favorite, another favorite is Phantom Assassin. Yeah, she's so gorgeous. All right, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it is uh, available and compatible in Linux-based operating system, the Steam, and uh, without a problem, I can play uh, Dota 2. Next is movies and music. Of course, oh, I can watch movie, and uh, I can also play my favorite music's, uh, music uh, using a VLC media player. And uh, this is actually available also in Windows. And it's also available here in Ubuntu. And if you want to edit uh, some uh, audio, uh, if you have the Audacity in your Windows, it's also available here in my Ubuntu desktop. So it's uh, the function is uh, just the same. The next will be torrents and downloads. So if you have a BitTorrent in your Windows, I have here my Q BitTorrent. Uh, yeah, so I can uh, download uh, torrent files and actually I download that movie and yeah, it's uh, it works just like it <laughs> what it should uh, do and yeah this one yeah i think you can do this uh, with your browser okay guys so i don't have to go to those uh, websites and uh watching anime yeah you can also that also uh do that also with the uh, browser okay and uh next is office applications like word excel and powerpoint so let me show you guys i have here a shared folder this is a, a shared folder from my Windows uh, laptop. So I have here a document, a Word and Excel document. This is actually a, a Word 2013 or 2016, if uh, I'm not mistaken. So as you can see, uh, the file extension is Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. And without a problem, I can open it and uh, edit and save that file here in my Ubuntu desktop. So I have my LibreOffice 5 here and I can edit those uh, Word documents uh, without a problem. I have here the basic form formatting and everything. 
and of course I, I can save that also uh, to be compatible and I, uh, it should be a uh, could be uh, open in the Windows uh, Microsoft uh, Office uh, save as and you know let me save it yeah I just in the same uh, folder so just let me rename this one yeah and the format I just save it as Microsoft Word 27 uh, 2007 2013 and you can open that in your Windows machine with your uh, Microsoft Office installed and yeah let's uh, try here so uh, pretty much the same with the Excel file so you can edit and do everything uh, what you want to do with it and let me rename this and for the format uh, if you want to open those uh, these uh, files in your Windows uh, Microsoft Office just uh, like I said uh, save it as a format of Microsoft uh, for example this one Microsoft Excel 2007-2013 and you should be uh, able to open that file in your Microsoft Office without a problem I tested that and yeah it's really working fine so uh, yeah uh, office uh, files and office documents uh, that's no not a problem here next will be the email outlook gmail and yahoo so for the gmail and yahoo uh, I think uh, you can uh, do that uh, with the browser the gmail and yahoo for the web-based uh, emails and for uh, if you have using uh, exchange or office 365 I actually uh, tested and it's working here with evolution so I have uh, here my Yahoo setup but I also uh, did a test setup with my office 365 account and I can tell you guys that it's working very fine the next is a work uh, video editing rendering and processing of course uh, I have it here uh, the light works <clears throat> Actually, uh, this is a multi-platform uh, video editing program, and uh, you can have this also with your in your Windows machine. And uh, there's a lot of uh, video editing program also available in uh, Ubuntu or Linux-based operating system. But uh, this uh, Lightworks, this is the only uh, uh, program that uh, I like the most, and it's uh, working very fine. And yeah, uh, working great. As you can see here, you can also export it uh, uh, to a 1080p maximum. And this is our, just a free version that I have here. And they have also a pro uh, or a paid version of this one. <clears throat> okay, so for the video editing, uh, we can do that also here. Next will be the remote access or RDP team viewer. Uh, I have here the remote uh, desktop. This is a Windows Server 2012 so I uh, RDP or remote access it uh, using my Ubuntu desktop so if you are uh, required to use uh, RDP in your work so yeah there's no it's not a problem you can RDP also here from your Ubuntu so next will be rendering and after effects like those uh, programs uh, yeah, I don't have the program installed here, but I can show you guys that we could have a <clears throat> Blender. This is a 3D uh, rendering program. And uh, uh, I think it is also available in Windows platform. So this is a pretty much uh, pretty good uh, program. Also, let's check the website here. Blender. Yeah, that is the official website. Yeah, pretty good. And also, you can find uh, a lot of video tutorials also in YouTube about this program. Okay, and yeah, you can. Uh, this is how easy uh, to install a program here in my Ubuntu desktop. Just search for the program, install, enter your password, and voila, it's uh, installed. So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. And I hope uh, I, this quick video uh, got some uh, of your interest in using a Linux-based operating system. As you can see, I can pretty much uh, do the same and do 
uh, almost uh, all or most of your uh, basic staff in uh, Windows desktop uh, beside from the gaming. So that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, see you on my next videos.